All right, hi everybody. I'm here with Nate Grahek from Sticky Albums, which is one of my like most favorite new new things I've gotten to play with lately. It's so awesome to be able to create a mobile app for your clients. Um, we're just going to talk to him a little bit today about just a little introduction to Sticky Albums for those of you living under a rock who don't know what it is, and um, hear about some cool new features Nate's got coming up. So awesome! Thank you so much for talking awesome. to me, Ari. I really appreciate sure. it. Awesome. Uh, yeah, it's been quite a ride. Uh, we've I launched Sticky Albums. It'll be two years in January. Oh, um, wow. Just wow. kind of out of wanting to do create create a new marketing tool for my own clients. I was doing a lot of high school yeah. senior photography. Yeah. And I would I would give like custom business cards or accordion albums and stuff like Old that. School. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes it would work. Sometimes it wouldn't work at all. And it took yeah. my own little cousin, bless her heart to be like, yeah, we don't like carrying paper anymore. So. <laughs> yeah, right. Or a boy who's like, um, I don't have a purse to put that in. <laughs> exactly. And so I was in my day job, I was working in training and development and making uh, mobile training apps. And I was able to combine the two passions together. And I was just like, hey, would it be cool if I made like a little app of your pictures that you could have on your phone? And she's like, right. oh my God, that'd be awesome. But wow. I ran with that, made a bunch for my clients. They loved it, shared it like crazy. And I just started offering it as a service so to other cool. photographers. And I was, I, I joke, um, my developer just had his uh, second kid. But I remember having my second kid, Jack, a month after I launched, um, I would zip oh. him up. I <laughs> love this visual. I love telling the story. I would have my little guy in my hoodie, zipped oh. up, and I was making the sticky albums manually. Where customers would, there's a handful of them out there. Like was, I think we had 200 customers when I first launched, and those first 200, they were they loved it because they would just make a zip file and dump right. it up and to the you're server. Doing all the work back and I would there, I would build it all chest. and oh, send it back. I can totally relate to that because when I released um, Shoot and Sell, it was like oh literally a rush. I was pregnant. I have tw I had tw I have one year old twins, right? So yep. I'm pregnant with my twins. I released it. I think I was like 38. It, no, 37 weeks. It was like a week before I had delivered the twins. And I was like, okay, what's going to be done first? The twins are shoot and sell. Please <laughs> let it be shoot and sell. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I think having children makes, uh, actually made me more efficient with my time. Oh, I, yeah. I, there's part, like, oh, it'd be so great if I didn't have kids. Like, I love the kids and I love that right. it just made me be very. No, because uh, you're like, I have an hour for nap and getting down to business. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So. I, I made it for myself to as a as a marketing tool to help get the yeah, word out and yeah. I've always been uh, really into like entrepreneurial stuff. My dad yeah. owned his own business, just a local lawn service business, and the lifeblood of his company had was his reputation. It was word of mouth referrals, and that's how I grew my photography business. And I said I got to find a, yeah. a better way to make my clients more effective at Absolutely. spreading the word and. No, like I've made a sticky album of the images of my twins just for my phone because people are like, oh, you, how, do you have any pictures? Yeah. And like if I don't have, so now I have a sticky album and it's like, okay, yeah, here they are. And it's like the perfect presentation as opposed to like, oh, wait, let me scroll through my, totally. you know, totally. my camera roll here yep. and find, oh, there's a good one. Exactly. You know? Oh, no, look at that one. Yeah. And then the funny ones is like, was like, well, no, no, scroll back. Just, yeah. just don't go there. There's right. always like, exactly. look at this picture, no scroll forward or back. Like, and, so and just, I just want to say, like, if you're watching and you already are, you know, and you, you have um, Shoot and Sell or the Photographer's Wall Display Guides, you can totally make, like, a sticky album of um, some different, you know, display ideas totally. that you can actually show your clients yeah. at your sales session or wherever. Or if, you know, don't, you know, you can show your images, but also show it in the context of, like, and look, I can do amazing wall displays exactly. for you as well. This is what, this is uh, what I can deliver for you. That's huge. Yeah, I've, I've seen people do that. It's, it's tremendous. There's so many different cool things you can do with it. Totally. Yeah. So um, yeah, I think that the gist of it to, to end on like the, the the why and what really yeah. motivated me is I started to notice um, how people really used their devices in a social way. Like we have right. all of these cool social sharing tools, which I think are great. But the story you shared, where what really drives word of mouth sales is in person. We're so busy yeah. now with things in every direction. When right. you when we do have those face to face conversations with our friends yeah. and family, that's what really drives our behavior and our purchasing yeah. decisions. Totally. And so, um, I remember, like as a kid, looking at pictures with my excuse me with my family, 
it was a very social experience. I remember like, oh, yeah. it was always together on a, but my grandpa would do slides or we'd do photo albums. Yeah. And, like I, now I'm starting to see that happen again, where mobile is making that experience of sharing our pictures social again. Yeah. Um, and so Absolutely. I was really drawn to that and, and really focus on making it that easy so that you don't, in order for this to be part of the conversation, it has yeah. to be seamless. Where if you're like, oh, let me show you this cool app and I'll share yes. it with you real quick right. to your phone. You're like, oh, wait. Not like, let me log into Facebook and find that album I posted a year ago. Yeah, totally. Exactly. If there's, that like doesn't, we've all tips. tried. We've all, I mean, it's like, oh, the connection's bad. Or like, ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, wait, that's the get- other thing that just want like features to get that it's, you don't have to be connected to the internet to see the pictures, right? Which yeah, is totally. so cool. Yeah, yeah, so it, the first time you open it, of course, you've got to be connected. Right. You download, oh, it, to download it, and of course. Then, then it's there. And so it fits into conversation. When they tap the icon, they're showing their pictures, and right. it, it fits into natural conversation. And that, that's yes. one of the vital features we we decided. So it doesn't work. So there's a lot of people that will like, oh, I can use this as my proofing solution. I'm like, Maybe if you deliver less than 40 images, it could kind of work right. for that. But all of our data shows that like my vision of the product has always been helping you book more customers yeah and getting you making no, it i mean easy. that word of mouth is so huge and because you have all the branding on top like right. you have your own branding on every sticky album you create that every client is sharing i mean sharing and you just interviewed somebody who had their sticky album shared 600 times with the Rod- 600 Dana. different people yeah yeah it's, we should plug that up uh, Dana that, rogers and yeah, yeah same Steve. same couple amazing and they, they rock and it i think that yeah. it's it's that type of exposure that you can't pay for to have that and, your your images on yes. that many people's different devices. Absolutely, and um, it, and cool. just to interject, like when we start, like when I started out in photography and started selling my wall guides, Facebook was like amazing. Yeah, like that was back in the like wild west days of Facebook, where you posted something and people would actually see it, right? Yes. So like we were building up our our customers left and right just by somebody commenting or you know on a picture, like their friends were seeing it or whatever. It's not like that anymore. No. So like you really need to use Other, any tool you can get totally. something like so this. That's a, that's a perfect segue into the new feature we're launching. So um, so first and foremost, I think we've made the point. It's all about in person is where the gold is at, and so we always want to make that in person experience super fast and and offline, so that they can it can be part of the in person conversation. The second part is. A lot of these social networking tools aren't as effective as they used to be. It's Facebook in particular, it used to go to everyone that said they liked your yes. page. They would now show up in their feed. I mean, can I just tell you, I shared something. My my um, photographer's wall display guides, I have 35,000 fans. Do you know how many people saw one of my posts last week? Like 10. Yes, 200. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? Like, so anyway, because you've got to pay, like so, yeah. Facebook wants to wants you to yes. pay for it. They've got to figure yes. out a way to make money, and this is how they've decided to do it. Right. They're the ones yes. that own the, that contact, and yeah. so um, what we've all started. The common denominator is always email. It's driven the growth of, of sticky albums. It's, gr- it's driven the growth of my photography business. Mm-hmm. Email is um, one of the here's here's the one way to think about it. So um, when I talk to other entrepreneurs about what like what's something of your feet of, of your service of your product that you do better than anybody else like what really matters and the way you can figure that out is by taking features away and seeing what happens like right. what happens for you guys watching what happens when facebook or twitter goes down it's just like okay whatever it go about your day but if for a lot of you that rely on email day to day i remember oh, with my yeah. day job when email went down they send people home. Yeah, exactly. Like you're like, okay, it's the like, service. Wait, what? What could the we service do with down? Email? Yeah. You guys like day off, go home. There's nothing yeah. you can't work anymore. Like right. email is still, for for better or worse. There's some good yeah. things about it. There's some bad things. It's still the common denominator, and by owning the email address of your customers and your prospects, you're in. Con- you own that relationship, and it lets you cultivate and nurture the relationship, whether you're sending um, a, a newsletter or yeah. promotional content. It's not just one surprise, like blah in their face. You get to do drip it over time, whether it's once a month or once every other couple of weeks. Right. It, you get to own that direct connection and not rely on Facebook or other services as the middleman. And so with that foundation, 
I started talking to other photographers and just saying, so do you guys do email marketing? Like what, what's the temperature for this? And it was all over the board. There's either a handful of people that said, it's great. It's huge. I love it. It's like my best kept secret. There's right. others like, oh, I've tried, but it seems too complex. I don't know where to start. And that was the most commonly heard thing. I just don't know where to start. So I started doing some education on it on the blog. People love that. And yeah. so I was like, I've got to, beyond just training, I want to make it easier for photographers to do this. And the best place to start is to just build your list. I think if, if a lot, also talking to a lot of creatives is we're bad at like doing stuff before we have to, <laughs> like we need a deadline, we need a reason to, yeah. to execute on it. And so there's a lot of steps you can take to like, to design your newsletter or, or think about what you're going to write, all that stuff. But there's yeah. no motivation if you're like, why am I doing all of this, this work if I only have 30 people on my email list? There's no right. like driver behind keeping me, right. like I'll work on this on the side and then, and then it never gets done. So the, a better place to start is to just grow your database. Don't worry about what you're going to send to them yet. Right. Just collect all of your past customers and put it all in one spot one spreadsheet you don't need any fancy tools right. right now just collect it all and then as you get new customers add it to your pile and start collecting potential customers emails wherever you're out and about collecting business cards wherever you're collecting that email lead is really powerful yeah. so for the big reveal um <laughs> I'll, i can give you a link of some examples so now in any sticky album as this is getting shared to your friends to your clients and their friends um, you can do a opt-in or an email form um, like wow. promotion that will pop up in all of your sticky albums. So as you so cool. share it to a bride, yeah, she shares it to her bridesmaids, there's a little pop-up that'll come up and say, save so, so X amount on your, your bridal shoot or your engagement shoot. It, it's not gonna entice everybody, but it's gonna right. entice the exact person you want to build a relationship with, That's right? So cool. Or it can be like it's something as simple as give away an iPad or subscribe to our newsletter to blah, right? You fill in the blank. We're gonna give a lot of templates that'll make that easy. But the That's key, so cool. Wait, the, I have to interrupt. Is this so this is on the per album level, right? Yeah. yeah. So you can do a different promotion or whatever for each That's so cool because yeah. you can so you can totally customize like your referral program based exactly. on that client. So you could be like sign up for, you know, book a session at however much off and your friend Dana or whoever it is yeah. gets, you know, a free eight by 10 or whatever. Totally. Like you can totally, yep. that's so cool. And so it's, it's super powerful that yes, it's, you, your, your clients can share this and it's on the person's device and they look at it and they're like, oh, these are cool pictures. And they're like, oh, I want to call this person later. It's kind of like they're, they're probably, they're going to check out your website too. They're like, right. oh yeah, this is their person. Their work is great. I'm going to reach out to them later. Yeah. The odds are we're so busy that people don't. And so instead, right. now they're like, it can be some, say subscribe to our newsletter for right. updates. And then now, they're going to get your email when you're doing mini sessions or whatever, because they may not think of you, but if they're right. reminded of you, then yep. yeah, that's and, amazing. And I was talking to uh, Heather Donlin, and she does, she tells us a great story of how she uses email to stay in touch with her customers across the country. She's she, Her studio is in Naples, Florida. And a lot of her clients are destination travelers. Oh, yeah. Um, and so she emails in her newsletter once a month about travel stuff. She, all she's doing is talking about stuff she knows her clients care about. They want to stay in touch with what's going on in Naples, right. like new restaurants, um, new construction that's going on, et cetera, et cetera. Like just talking about stuff your clients care about. So they're... Everybody's they love getting the newsletter, seeing what's going on with her stuff. And then they share this with their friend. And they have any friends that are traveling to Naples, they're sharing the stuff that, that way also. So cool. So um, awesome. the last thing I'll say about why email is so powerful is um, a lot of times we th we think that having a website is like is gonna close the deal. It's so rare that when somebody visits your site for the first time, it's it's too much. It's too much information right. to consume to make that decision. And even if they're blown away, they love your work, 
they they just it's a timing thing. They're just not looking for a photographer today. Right. Um, if they instead get have are able to subscribe to your blog feed or to your 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 newsletter, and you're on their mind, they, they, even though they're not opening it every time. Let's say they open like half or a third of your your newsletters. Yeah. After six months, you're the first person they think of. Right, like when, or when the time is right. They get that email when the time is right when they were just thinking, oh, I needed a new email. Exactly. Yeah, yeah totally. absolutely. And, and, no, it's so important now. I mean, I remember I used to, um, like when I first started my business, I would drive people to my Facebook page for updates. Yeah. Now it's like the opposite. On my Facebook page, I'm driving them back to emails. I mean, email list, I, I used to have a marketing background also. Like, email was always king. You know, it was like, totally. get that list get that list and then Facebook and all these and Twitter and all these other things you know kind of cropped up came yep. out and yeah and it was like oh this is amazing and you know I don't even need to email anymore but now it's like no we're back to email exactly it's, it's come full, it's come full circle it totally full circle. Um, yeah and I think that there's one other thing I was gonna say about um, sure I just lost my train of well, thought well when he, I'll just I, go ahead just to say like just to tie it back into the wall guides like one yeah. of my um, favorite clients Tiffany and you know Tiffany Bender from um, not client she's a customer of the wall guides um, from Munchkins and Mohawks I don't know if you've seen her work it's no. unbelievable if you haven't anybody who hasn't checked out her work you have to check out her work yeah. um, anyway so she'll do every once in a while she'll do a canvas sale and she'll create she'll mock something up in Photoshop mm -hmm. on one of my wall display guides she'll post it on Facebook but she'll send it out to an email list and then so like that's just getting residual sales you know, totally. and it's slow season or whatever. She's so you reaching out to past clients via email. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you didn't buy a canvas that now, you know, from your session, or you want another canvas, here's a discount you can get. So there's so many, so many ways you can, yeah, use email. Totally, and I think that the the, the supplementing your business in the slow season is a great example where yeah, you're you're able to push market when you want when you when you have time and when it fits your calendar, then you can ask for the Absolutely. business as you need to, and yeah, I. I think it just really comes down to not getting uh, bogged down by how many different ways you can use it and the different tools. And the different, I'm going right. to be putting together a ton of awesome resources from other right. experts too about how they yeah. do email marketing that really works. Um, here's here's one other the story I was going to share. Um, so I'm learning email marketing myself, and I'm really cautious. I always feel like I'm sending too much or not enough, and MailChimp is a great tool to use. It's totally free, and their drag and drops tools are like yeah, their new templates. I'm are so envious. Awesome. They have yeah. some of the best web developers out there. So yeah. um, that's my plug for MailChimp. So then mm -hmm. I can filter, like it automatically rates a subscriber by how often they click, how often they open, and so there's one day I remember t I had uh, like I sent an email to all of my two star or less subscribers mm -hmm. and I just okay. said hey guys your B list <laughs> you haven't like you haven't opened any of this stuff this is the last email I'm gonna send you like I'm sorry if this is bothered it's let me know if like say say no if you don't want to be unsubscribed sure, yeah. and I was overwhelmed like so many people were like wait 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 no 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 like don't I, I <laughs> don't <want>, ditch me <laughs> just because I don't open these like it's a placeholder like I, every time I get one yeah I might not open it but I, I'm gonna get to you eventually so don't stop sending stuff that oh, was that's good. it was a really interesting like well, reminder of how people like it's a timing thing right and you, totally. you can continue to keep stay on people's minds and attention yeah. is the most valuable asset out there and this yeah. is a very they're in control if people don't want to get your emails it's yeah. easier than ever to just unsubscribe that's all they have to do. There's nothing wrong with that. And right. I even make it easier. Like I have like bigger unsubscribe buttons on my emails because like I only want to be sending you stuff if you want to get it. And I go on and on. Oh, so yeah. um, email is, is king again. And yeah. I, I'm really excited to be giving photographers a simple place to start. Like just start with just growing your list. Just gather the list. Yeah, you'll and, always think of some way to use it. Exactly. And if, I if mean, in, how many times of year, like, you know, you're doing holiday minis, maybe you're going to do like a Valentine's set up or something yeah. there's so many you know you could gather those names for like half a year or a year before you re figure out what the best way to use it but you you'll definitely think of a way to use it totally and, it, and yeah. then whether it's whether in, you check back in a couple months you're like okay i've got 50 or 500 like it's something right. to start with and, so, and what's that what are the i forget from my marketing days what that um statistic is about like how 
you can make more money from the people who are already your customers than it costs. I, what is it? It's like it costs 10 times more to acquire a new customer yeah, right. than it does to just sell something additional to the ones you already have. Yep. yep. So like if you're, I mean, I'm kind of guilty of this just because I'm so busy with my my wall guides, but my past clients, they usually seek me out, like they're having their second kid or whatever. And uh -huh. if I'm not marketing, but if I was more proactive in that way, like marketing to them and again, That's and just huge. being like, hey, it's it's time for holiday photos again. Like, mm -hmm. duh. Totally. <laughs> like, why wouldn't you do that, yeah, you know? If, if you think about how much energy it takes, I think that's what it comes down to. And it's yeah. only, I think that metric is only getting more and more important where yeah. it just, it takes so much energy to find a new service or to find a new product. Right. It's like, I gotta like, you see people like, I'm looking for so-and-so on Facebook or whatever. And then people chime in like that takes time and energy to decide who should, who's going to do my photography this year. Whereas if you're on their mind over and over again, it's like scheduling the annual shoot where like, here it is. Here's, oh, yeah. here's the session. They already know or, you and you know their kid. I mean, if we're talking about family portrait, like yeah. they know that your their kids liked you. You had a good experience. Totally. Like they're not going to go to someone else if, yeah, because it's a risk. It's like, you know. Yeah. And it t takes time and all that. So Absolutely. It, it works really well. All right. Yeah. No, that's uh, fantastic. I'm super excited about that. Now, when is that? When do you think this is going to be rolled out? That should be live now. When you post this, we should have it live. So I'll, I'll give oh, you some yeah. example albums you can include in the blog post below. You, all right. You guys yeah, we'll can, put some links. You can click down. on that and you'll see the okay. little promo pop up and you can test it out yourself. Awesome. Um, get the oh, right. Free. And so just for people who aren't using Sticky Albums, you have a free demo that they can sign up for on your yep. site, right? It's a 14-day free trial. Uh, we've got a monthly membership as well as you save a ton of money by doing the annual. Most of our members, right. we've okay. got over 5,000 photographers now so, that have okay. done the annual membership. And it's I've got a really ridiculous guarantee. I just, I, yeah. I'm of the mindset that I don't want, I don't want customers unless they're happy. Absolutely. And if, if it isn't working, if there's some markets or some places where mobile hasn't like totally taken off yet and it yeah. doesn't totally work, no sweat, so, like I'll yeah. refund your money. So there's like a no risk, no exactly. risk there. Now, also I know um, for people who are heading out to some of the trade shows this season, are you yeah. guys, you're gonna, yeah, awesome. Yeah, we're gonna have a big booth at big. Imaging. I'm stoked about. Cool. Um, so that's please, in Phoenix this year, right? It is, yeah. So yeah. please stop so, by if you're gonna be there, come say hello. I can't wait to meet our customers awesome. and people who are checking it out for the first time. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. Awesome to see it in person. Yeah. It's great. Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much. This has been amazing. Yeah, I've had a blast. We'll talk more yeah. later. Thank you so All much, right. Ariane. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye-bye.